I do not want to be awake. I want to be right back asleep. Fuck. I gotta get up though. I have to be on set in 45 minutes. <laughs> This is so totally happening right now. I'm still just waiting around, reading this book. This guy that I met in New York sent it to me for my birthday. It was so sweet. It's good. I guess it's from the 1900s. It's a really, really broad time frame. Um, but I mean, like, 1903. The curtain opens. What is happening? What is it? All right, I convinced them to let me leave for a little bit so I can go to my brother's birthday lunch. Today's my brother's birthday. Uh, I still haven't done a damn thing on set. Straight up, have done nothing. Um, so it's cool of them to let me leave, but I feel like they're like, you gotta be back by this certain time. And I'm like, okay. Also though, let's be real. You're not gonna use me by then. So why, why do I need to be back? Whatever. All right, let's go get some Cuban food. We'll see. Pray for the 49ers. Okay, I will. I'm so glad that I got to celebrate my bro's birthday with him. Um, all right, I'm driving back to set now. How much you want to bet they don't even use me today? Only one way to find out, so here I go. Uh. I've fully given in. I'm tucked in bed. I took a fucking nap. Not kidding. I don't know what the fuck is going on. It's so weird. It's like, why do they want me here? I've been here for almost 12 straight hours now today. It's all good though, because I'm getting paid. So, that's cool. I guess. <laughs> I'm so confused. But you know, with all the camera stuff, I kind of feel like we were acting. Mm -hmm. You know? Okay, I'm starting to get a little freaked out, this last girl, because other people have been shooting, okay? I, for whatever reason, I'm just chilling, but this one girl just came back from shooting and said more than she was supposed to, and was like, I ain't got nothing in my phone that I'm not proud of, and I'm like, okay, are we going in fucking phones again? Because I've got so much shit in my phone that I'm not proud of. So that's not cool. 
And then also they were talking about some guy and they were like, yeah, he freaked out. And I'm like, what, about what? What is there to be, what is going on? Are you, am I gonna freak out? <sighs> I'm already freaking out. I'm like, what, what, what? Well, I'm going home and they didn't use me again. What the fuck is going on? Beat. <laughs> All right, I'm home now. I have my freedom, but I feel so disoriented. Um, you know, it's like going into a weird time warp. Just signing up to do nothing all day. What are my hopes and dreams? What was I trying to accomplish? I'm gonna figure it out, I'll figure it out, I'm gonna figure it out. It's still my bro's birthday. He's at a basketball game, I think. Uh, so after that, he go into the bar. He invited me, it's all the way in Culver City and it's 11 o'clock, but it's his birthday, you know? So, I don't know, I'm thinking about it, but I really don't feel like going, but thinking about it, cause he's my bro. My brow. I started using an all natural shampoo and it feels like my hair never gets clean. So I put it up, but this one's falling. What do we think? Anyway, then I put some baby powder in it to try and absorb some of the oil, and now it just, it's disgusting, really. <clears throat> That's life. This show's really good. What do you think? They deserve a slot? <sighs> I'm officially binge watching. The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. It's marvelous. And beyond. But I can't stop. I can't stop, 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 stop. <laughs>